Oh, thank you very much. I'll try to talk fast, but I'm Swiss, so it probably doesn't work. Um, apparently, we also cannot calculate properly, but if we build some, the wrong thing, I'm sure we build it very well. So the bridge should be rock solid. I also don't know why anybody asked us about CA level. We even don't have a C. Um, anyway, so today I want to introduce CPP delegates. I want to signal boost this library that was developed by my good friend, Roger Mittler. It's a lightweight function wrapper. Um, you can store and evoke any callable like free functions, methods, um, static, non-static methods, lambdas, and function objects. You can configure what happens when the, uh, this wrapper is empty. It's move only for performance reasons. It requires only C++14, and you can look it up on GitLab. It's very well documented, very well tested. I recommend it. So why did we do this? Why did we just use std function? Um, well, std function is pretty heavyweight, so you wanted something lightweight. Uh, it has type erasure, it does dynamic memory allocation sometimes. And then, so we had a look at this blog post by Sergei Ryazanov, and he has an implementation of function wrappers, but there is a slight problem because if you don't assign any callable to it, it's actually undefined behavior to call it. So that was the motivation to uh, build this library. It's called uh, CPP delegates. So how does it look like? So this is um, how you create an empty delegate. If you call it, you get an exception. This is how you create a non-empty delegate. You need to use this uh, factory method, which means it's not as nice to use as to function. So there's a trade-off there. And of course, if you call um, this delegate, then it calls the lambda that you provided to it. You can also use event delegates. Uh, this is very useful if you want to give the user the possibility to just um, subscribe to an event, but maybe some people don't want to. So if you um, then call it, it does nothing. So if you have an empty event delegate, it does nothing if you call it. But you need to, um, you can only pass functions to it that have a void return type because it's an event, so it doesn't, shouldn't return anything. All right, so this is the case where you have an event delegate um, configured with a lambda and it calls it. Then there's also a command delegate. It's a, a command is something you shouldn't ignore, so um, it doesn't compile to uh, default constructed. And of course, if you give it a lambda, then it's called. So we use this in our products. These are mechanical ventilators. So these run on microcontrollers and it's medical grade. So this library is in use in such devices. So it should be safe to use to, for you too. This is where I work. Um, it's Hamilton Medical, my company. It's very beautiful. It's in Switzerland. You see at this red point, southeast corner. Ah, Swiss, Swiss maps, I love them. They're so beautiful. <clears throat> um, this is close by, you can go swim there, it's very beautiful. You can do mountain bike trips. Uh, you can go skiing, of course, snowboarding, telemark, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is Switzerland, just we are a small country, so I just want to remind everybody, um, Switzerland is a country of chocolate, Toblerone-shaped mountains, um, huge humongous instruments that nobody knows how to play and beautiful uh, waterfalls. This is the waterfall of my hometown, Schaffhausen. Really worth a visit. Uh, so we're not Sweden, actually, so it's not the same. <clears throat> uh, it has a cross also in the flag, so that's true. Um, but this one also has a cross in its flag. Uh, it's a flag of the International Red Cross. Mostly used for also as a health symbol, but although Swiss people are generally pretty healthy, you should not use this flag um, as a health symbol, please. Uh, it's a white cross for entirely different reasons. Um, yeah, so that's it. We are hiring. If, talk to me later. And I'm way fast.